to welcome everybody back to the Independent Investor Channel. Ryan here for some coverage on Atomic Minerals Corporation. This is a junior mining company that has come across my desk here looking to introduce it uh, to you guys. All the information that's been used in the making of this video can be found at the company's website, atomicminerals.ca. So kick over there. You can track the latest press releases. Um, one in particular, just a couple of days hot off the press as the information in this space changes radically. Who is Atomic Minerals Corp? Looking to leverage the power of the demand over the uranium market. They are in the junior mining space. They've got projects spanning North America here. We'll cover some of those in highlight, but you're going to want to go in to the website and, and really look at some of these projects uh, as a whole. But what they do uh, is look to take large-scale projects and take those large-scale projects with a focus on using their expertise and their team to leverage the power of uh, discovery of uh, properties that have been uh, historically uh, very rich in the production of uranium, uh, typically overlooked assets uh, in various regions and looking to capitalize on those opportunities uh, for would-be share owners. So very interesting play here for Atomic Minerals Corp and, and what their vision is and what they're looking to do. Capital structure is tight. The flare, uh, share float is uh, very restrictive, very tight, uh, very attractive from that perspective. There are some warrants outstanding as well as some units, which is uh, very common here. But uh, notice the tight share float that exists uh, surrounding the cur current corporate structure for Atomic Minerals Core. Uh, the latest stock chart here shows a stock that uh, has been recessed. It's come off of its recent highs. Uh, latest uh, opportunity here is contingent upon their opportunity in their latest drill announcement and plans to go forward on their Colorado Plateau property. And so exciting to add to the watch list and, and continue to cover this company uh, as you know, I've covered junior mining stocks in the past, but uh, with the emerging market here um, and, and the ever growing demand on uranium, it's important to pay particular attention to uh, what these small players are doing in the space. Why uranium? Uranium now is really uh, the re reaction to the necessary need that we are going to have in the future for electricity. By 2040, we're going to need around 50% more electricity. Uh, and with the demands over the electricity, but the equal as important uh, acknowledgement to the emissions profile Nothing stands up to uh, nuclear energy, and the need for uh, uranium is only expected to grow uh, over time. The demand now is is enormous with the emergence and um, uh, awareness to uh, the movement toward more uh, electronic vehicles, uh, and so the, the need for uh, feeding that energy consumption is only going to grow over time. Uh, so the emissions profile for uh, uranium, as you can see here, really does sport the lowest CO2 emissions profile, uh, which is attractive from a, a global perspective here, which is in everybody's uh, attention and, and on everybody's radar. How are we going to meet this demand in the future? And so it's important to look at this small niche in the mining community here, uh, some very, very large players uh, in this industry looking to meet the global demand for uranium. But with the geopolitical conflicts going on right now, it, it sent a ripple effect uh, in the industry as a whole and, and the producers that are looking to, um, to, to, to meet that demand into the future. Some of the projects to highlight for Atomic Minerals Corp uh, are as follows. And it's Hearts Point, 10 Mile, uh, Dolores, uh, Anklin, and Northern Saskatchewan region. So like I said before, looking to acquire uh, and manage these properties with the expertise. These guys know what they're doing, and they've got an experienced uh, management team to boast here with 
plenty of experience to know where to put that focus and and how to really extract the greatest amount of value out of these resources for share owners. Uh, and they're not going at this blind. They're looking for existing uh, projects, projects that are in the vicinity of historically producing uh, areas uh, in North America and, and looking to capitalize on those overlooked resources. So that is the introduction here, guys, to Atomic Minerals Core. Uh, bear in mind, uranium uh, a, a minerals core trades on the TSXV under the ticker symbol ATOM. Mm -hmm. Uh, it was used in the making of this video, so I invite you to kick over there. There are detailed um, cross-sections and um, more information that you can find out on these projects as we track this company going forward. And in closing, guys, I'll bring you to uh, the company contacts here. Feel free to reach out to them if you have any questions on some of the introductory information that we've offered through uh, this coverage of the company. Uh, appreciate you guys tuning in for the totality of this video. If you enjoy the content, subscribe to the channel, leave your comments at the bottom of the video, guys. And thank you so much for tuning in and good luck in your investment future.